हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू माय चैनल वंस अगेन टुडेज टॉपिक एआईएस इन दिस ट्यूटोरियल वी विल लर्न व्हाट आर द थिंग्स आर ड्यूटी ऑफिसर शुड नो अबाउट एआईएस ड्यूरिंग प्री अराइवल प्री डिपार्चर एंड एट सी आई हैव पोस्टेड सो मेनी टॉपिक रिलेटेड टू ब्रिज इक्विपमेंट एक डिस इफ यू हैव नॉट वॉच दैट वीडियो यू कैन वॉच लिंक इज गिवन इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन and about e-learning i have provided the link in the description you can watch how to do e-learning and how to do exist exam procedure are well explained so let's start the topic so about ais a duty officer should know how to change the nav status so as you can see on the screen we have five button menu enter display dimmer and nav status you should know about the nav status uh, first click on the nav status as you can see nav status right now we are underway using engine so you can change press enter button and as you come down and come up you can change the nav status if you are at anchor 01 or otherwise you are underway using engine 00 so you can change from here next press enter now uh, to come to next page click on right button and as you can see here you can change the destination destination you can enter from here and you can change it next thing arrival time date and utc you can enter the date and uc time as you can see and next you can uh, change the cargo type and type number and in the details these are the important things and draft and number of person on board as we have it meter draft and total number of crew on board 22 and these are the basic things how to change the nav status now at sea we carry out the some test now we will see what are the test we carry out at the sea so we press the menu button and as you can see on the top message press enter we actually we send the we transmit the message to test that ais is working or not so you can you can go to create message and you can uh, set message type like uh, what kind of message you want to transmit press enter so you want to address a particular uh, msi number or uh, you want to broadcast you can select you can select the message type normal or safety message once you enter all the detail correctly come back and you can send the message from here okay now we come again to menu uh, go to in diagnostic press enter and we carry out the transponder test monitor test so first we carry out the monitor test press enter and press enter as you can see monitor test it is okay okay everything is written okay now it is checking lcd
now it has been done we come back to menu button now again I came to menu and uh, I select diagnostics press enter I have done monitor test now I will do transponder test select transponder test press enter any from here you can do memory test GPS test VHF communication test so I select memory test now it is showing the menu room ok ok sub ram ok so test has been passed now come back to GPS test I will do GPS test after some time yeah it is coming test ok now for GPS communication test press enter from here you can select the MMSI number whichever the MMSI number you want uh, from nearest vessel and uh, after that you have to enter the uh, select the start test so guys these are the basic things about AIS which you should know and during the port also some of the AIS have inbuilt feature like uh, AIS to be at low watt in the port so let me tell you once you selected the vessel mode once you selected the status mode it automatically switch to low watt so AIS has to be low watt in the port so you should know so guys these were the these were the basic things which our duty officer should know about AIS next time I will be present with another new topic if you find helpful this video please hit the like button and share with your friends thank you so much bye bye